All right. Uh, 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 I need to adjust my mic. Uh, Why uh, did you do that before? Because it, it wasn't. It's not. Shut up. Okay. Don't move it. Oh God! What was I? Whoa! <laughs> what? <Just> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Stop torturing little brown men, James. <sighs> okay. Yeah. So before this recording session. Is it going session, in there? No. No, no, no. Don't talk down my no, commentary. No, 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 no. I didn't talk down to anything. It's rule number one in improv. Don't just... <laughs> don't shut down mm -hmm. someone's thing. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. So... Mm-hmm. Shut up. Okay, <laughs> so... <laughs> that was the most tired, like, dude, please. <laughs> 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 Stupid thing with the remote. I don't care. I'm fine. <laughs> oh my Say God. it. <laughs> I don't even want to now. Just to spite you. <laughs> All right. So I couldn't find the remote to the TV, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it got really annoying because I don't know. Oh, I don't sick. know why remotes are like the hardest thing to find. The, the dumbest thing ever because you can't find the remote and like I'm sure everyone has the problem of not being able to find the remote and they know that it's been put here but all of a sudden it's not there. Mm -hmm. It's also upsetting because a big pet peeve of mine is when I'm looking for the remote and someone who's never been to my house before just looks at a random remote just sitting out and they're like, uh, isn't it that? And... I can't get mad at them because they don't know what remote goes to the TV. Mm -hmm. It's very clearly, if the remote was out in the open, I would have already seen it, yeah. and I would have used it. Much <laughs> yeah, okay, sorry. Okay, cool. <laughs> so here's your first boss fight. What? And also, your first really useless candy. This is your next candy power, and... They're called Wiggles, Wriggle Sweets? Wriggle Sweets. Sweet. And you're supposed to use it to distract enemies. I'm assuming it's useless. Also, something's wrong with the candy pulp. Hang on, go back to the candy pulp. What? What is going on? What do you mean what's going on? It's just flashing purple. Don't taste me, bro! Ow! I think what they want you to do is, like, distract them. Because you ask Grandpa Joe, and he's like, maybe use the garbage chutes, but I haven't found a use for that. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> I don't know how they wanted you to- they intended you to beat this. I've only ever been able to beat this part of the level one way. What's that? Alright, so turn one of them into a vine ball. Come on, there you go. Okay. And then all the Wonka bots, if you hit them with the vine ball, instant kill. How do I? How do I? You pick it up with Y. Thank you. Anthony, it's only been a few Did days since you played kill? this game. Instant kill? Instant kill. Okay. I don't know why how do I, it is. How do I do? Just I have to press Y to roll it, Anthony. Double kill. Oh wow! You literally Did it kill just, him? Yeah, you. Wow! Just, you just killed two guys. Oh, are you serious? Just throwing that. Okay, so I'm so, so I'm supposed to kill. Oh, so we're, I think we're supposed to lure them into these. Yeah, I think that's what it's supposed to do, but that's never worked for me because really? their AI knows how to. Like, yeah, you can try to distract one. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. This is way too easy. I don't know. Their AI always goes around the garbage chute. Oh wow, yeah, and, you, and honestly, like, another strategy, you could just put, th put, throw them all into vine balls yeah. and they'll just blow up eventually. They will blow up eventually, but then you ah! have to wait. Come here, come here, come here. Boom, son! Alright, take a second and, like, really listen to the, the boss music. That's intense. Just look at that waddle. Look at him shuffle. What, what, how would you... I feel like, like this is how anyone should walk into a party. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, just, just, yeah, no, I'm literally just waiting for this guy. Yeah, and this is how I've always beaten this level. I could never figure out any other way. And if anyone who's ever played this game before and, and know the method, feel free to tell me in the comments and... Tell me how funny I am. Oh, yep, there he goes. Boom. Nice. And that's that. Head Boop. over to the door. Boop. Actually, first, yeah. Equip the wriggle sweets. What? what is this hentai? And throw them. Throw them. Oh, okay. Thank you. 
And look at them, they just, they just what? go to Ew. you. Ew! That's they... some, that's like some, dude, okay, not, to, not for nothing, but this is like some Silent Hill stuff. Also, look at that. Also, the mechanics for this thing is it's supposed to distract enemies, but it always goes to you. So it's still leading the enemies to you. Weird. All right, Pretty you gotta pay attention. This next cutscene yeah, is yeah. very important. Okay. My chocolate river. It's completely dried up. Oh my god! Okay, so... So, okay, so... Uh, in case you missed it, uh, Augustus just... Mm -hmm. Augustus just plugged up the chocolate waterfall. And for some reason, the entire... The oh entire chocolate river is gone. <laughs> so here's what you have to do. These are the candy boxes. Yeah. You collect the Oompa Loompas, throw the gobstoppers at the trees, tell the Oompa Loompas to get it, and they'll walk over and fill up the box. You have to have five of the, the yellow candy in there. Got it. And uh, this is just going to take a while, so... If you have any uh, sick yeah. tangents or rants to talk about, I was actually gonna talk about this, and I, ugh, I, okay, I was thinking. Want me to take over while you talk? I mean, sure. Okay, so, so, I realized something, James. I don't think I've ever asked you like any childhood stories oh. of yours, like any like legitimate things that you remember from your from your youth days. Anthony, you yeah. know I lead a very mundane life. Well, yeah, but I don't know, like something interesting that happened or something crazy or weird that happened. Um, I mean, <laughs> there was that day my dad peed blood. We were at a hospital. James! We were at a hospital for like a, a month. Not a month, like two days. Yeah, I, you're the only person on this entire planet. Who I'm like, hey man, I just want to have like a nice, cool, fun conversation with you. What was your childhood like? My dad peed blood. What? That was the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> well, okay, so I got a childhood story really quick for you. Uh -huh. Okay, so I have a billion brothers and sisters, right? Oh yeah. And and so uh, uh, me I think and like a little less than that, like like two billion. Two but billion. like um. So so I. So when I was like four years old, me and my older brother really, really liked WWE, right? Mm -hmm. Like just wrestling. And um, we really liked to like, like get on a trampoline or whatever and just like jump around and like, like kick each other and push each other. And Shawn Michaels uh, had this move, okay, mm -hmm. where he would like just kick someone in the chin and it was called Sweet Chin Music. Here's yeah. a clip of it. It's awesome. Whoa. All right. Yeah. Huh. So I was going to surprise my brother randomly in the kitchen just early in the morning. My brother is trying to, you know, like, like do something, like eat something or whatever. And I just kick him in the face nice. as hard as I can. Cool. All right. Just because WWE, you never know when you're going to get attacked. Yeah. And, and he, he like turns around and he's just bleeding. Like his nose is just profusely bleeding and he's like holding it. He's like, Ugh. and I'm like, oh my God. And so <laughs> like I'm freaking out because I'm like four years old and I think I just killed my brother. Okay, so so we go to the hospital and, and we're just holding, like just holding his nose and it just blood is everywhere. And I'm like having a five-year-old, four-year-old anxiety attack, okay? Mm -hmm. And I've had those. yeah, and so um, we go into the hospital, and they're like, "All right, what's your what's your family name?" And we're like Syracuse, and the the person at the counter is like, "Wait, is your mother my mom's name, Syracuse?" Mm. And we were like, "Yeah," and they're like, "She's giving birth upstairs," <laughs> and we were like, "What?" <laughs> and she's like. She's like, yeah, you guys are about to have a little sister. And I was like, oh my God. And my brother, I'm not kidding, straight up with like his bloody hand goes like, can we take care of this first? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's beautiful. Mine's not as like, as amusing, but it's kind of a nice memory. Is this the one with your dad peeing blood? No. Oh, okay. But 
actually, it happened two days after. Wow. It's it's a nice memory because um, so there's this game. It's mm-hmm. called it's called The Incredibles: Rise of the Underminer. I don't know. If yeah, it's an indie game. Yeah, no. It, it's 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 about like what happened directly after the first Incredibles movie, because you know in the you were telling me about this when we went to go see Incredibles two. Yeah, because the Incredibles movie, uh, you know how it ends with the drill coming out and the Underminers all like and John Ratzenberger. <laughs> Oh, look at him go. Okay, finish the story, finish the story. Okay, John Ratzenberger, um, uh, he comes out and he's like, I'm the underminer and I'm gonna mess you up. So, word the, for word. The game goes right to that moment where he comes up and then you play as Mr. Incredible and in Frozone and you follow the drills and you go into like his lair and you fight his robots and like you destroy all of his like machines that were supposed to like ruin the earth. It's like you continue the movie with the game. Yeah, essentially. And, and the game came out like in 2005, right? Uh, like right after uh, the uh, movie? It came out at this date. And um and I don't know, it's is a really fond memory because my dad and I would play that. I would be Frozone and he would be Mr. Incredible. And it was always fun like we'd always like take the time to play it. It's like a co-op game. Uh, yeah, it's a co-op game. Oh you, my god. I, well, I do think that Incredibles 2 is a good film. I did not like that they just pretended that that game didn't exist. Do they have all the people, like, reprise their roles or whatever? Yeah, and uh, everyone's there. They do the same. The Incredibles 2 comes back and starts right where it left off. I don't know. I didn't. I mean, sure, make their own story, but like, it, it just. They could have just continued like a few years later or something. Like, I don't know. It, it right, just felt, right, right. It felt. I mean, they didn't purposely do that to me, but it always felt like <laughs> they just pretended. Just Brad Bird has like a picture of you in his office with like a dartboard behind like, it, and he's just like, the, like, yeah, just Brad Bird's all like, yeah. hey, this kid had some fond childhood memories with his father playing this game. Let's pretend that this game doesn't exist. <laughs> well, uh, with that, I believe that it is time to say oh, a goodbye. For, first of all, let me show you your new candy power up. Oh, I'm check this out, the right candy amazing. balloon. Oh, perfect. It's a double jump. That seems useless, is it? No, it's like one of the most useful power-ups in the game. All right, well, oh, see ya. See ya. I'm the underminer and I'm gonna mess you up.